Hello and welcome to a Lego bootleg review of Lego Baron movie sets from a brand bootleg brand called Quan uh, Quan Guan uh, Quan Guan. <laughs> um, that's really hard to say in English. Uh, this is set number six one three. I'm not sure what other sets they've done. I don't think I've come across them before. So here's a verse and there's a bunch of Lego Batman movie sets. Uh, we have a um. Yeah, the boxes are confusing because they don't really match what's inside. But um, we have a uh, you know regular relaxing Batman. He's given a green cape. We have a golden suit Batman with yellow pants. It's not golden. That kind of sucks. Uh, Lego Batman general version. But uh, they copied the movie suit, but they decided to draw the uh, belt back onto it. Uh, Disco Bat, Clown Bat. So these come from the same set. And of course, uh, a Tiger Suit Batman, which is also a poly pack release. Uh, now, obviously, the interesting set. Uh, Reason the little minifigure display box, which um, that's pretty cool. And for the price that they're going for, um, it's uh, you can either get for the same price, you can either get eight figures from like Poco or XINH, or you can get six figures here, but also six boxes. You might have noticed that these six boxes all have a cardboard. Uh, display thing that um, surrounds it and there's a reason for that uh, first of all it's of course the promotion now when you first get these they all come in these little boxes and the figure is inside the little usual baggie uh, and so you, you open the box you know, slide the box out open it get the baggie out open the bag build your figure from arms heads and legs and everything and then put it back in there and then slide the box back on it slides on pretty easily and uh, there's no fear in destroying the box if you do that uh, bat logos on the top right there so you got this suit does is a Batman series. Uh, yes, yes, it does. It has some cutting lines there in case you can't slide it out. You have to cut it. Uh, yeah, confusing this is because this suit, this bat thing here, has all these comb power, whatever, um, on the on the prints. So these different suits. Just quickly rotate them around so you can see them. Oh, general Batman poster there, clown suit, and uh, this one here, the dark sky thing going on. What's that? New York or Chicago? I don't know. One of the Batman posters from Dark Knight. So I'm just going to slide one of these out so you see it comes out very easily. And um, there you go. Oh, that's why it's in the cardboard box. See how easy that is? It comes out. Oh, there you go. You shake it a little bit. I mean, you can hold it. And uh, I'm guessing if you have maybe three figures in there, uh, would make sense. Uh, it'll be a lot heavier and it'll fall off much easier. So, yeah, that's the thing. But as a box itself, pretty solid as a studs on the top there so that's good so if you get a bunch of these you can have a nice little uh, Lego display thing going on so yeah so uh, yeah the print details themselves aren't actually that bad they're actually decent uh, they're sharp and detailed they, they sort of their print machine is pretty good but um, the, the colors of the plastic just feel wrong the blue there is Far too cheap. The capes have that rough glue edges, like they came from a dirty factory, and so they probably did, so that's not good. Uh, and uh, they didn't bother printing any white where they need to, so the yellow suit there just looks wrong when it comes down to the hip piece. Uh, notice that this belt is printed on instead of actually having a belt, and so this one printed on the hip piece. So again, it looks a little bit off when you know the real one comes with a uh, plastic accessory belt. Uh, and uh, even if it didn't, uh, let's just say you prefer printed belts. The, the drawings of the belts seem very quick and lazy and sloppy. It doesn't look good at all. And finally, this bat, the whole bat torso here is much smaller than the than the uh, the print is much smaller than the torso. So it looks, again, looks wrong. Um, all the faces are bad as well. They all have the exact same head, and you can see most of them. The eyes don't even reach uh, the eye holes of the mask. And uh, yeah, you can see that uh, the, the faces are mostly consistent in, in the print quality, but the, uh, the, it, they're all off-center. Some are higher, some are lower, so that's not very good. And I'm not going to bother showing you the back, because there is no back printing whatsoever. Not on the heads, on, and not on the bodies. So pretty average figures at best. Ugh the figures themselves are not that bad and neither is the clutch you can play around with them pretty easily the capes are very one side and shiny on the other so very similar to XI and H capes and so that's decent enough aside from you know the dirty edges which is nasty uh, and uh, the clutch well for the most part is good uh, the head 
joint. Uh, it's a little bit hard to pull the mask off on some of them, and while the other half, uh, it can rotate the mask easily without the head rotating, so that can be quite annoying for some as well. So it really is saying something that the most special part, the highlight of this set, is not the figures themselves, but these boxes. Because, uh, let's face it, these hobby boxes can cost quite a lot. Um, for most people and most shops selling them, uh, even though it's just a box because it's a hobby based box, uh, a lot of people overcharge for these things. So, if you're looking for minifigure display boxes, this is a pretty good way to go. Just, I don't know, get rid of the figures afterwards um, because they're not that good. But uh, otherwise, if you're, if you're looking for any of these figure designs, any of the other bootleg brands, Pogo, XINH, DLP, etc., have all done them pretty well. Just realized I put on the wrong mask. That looks kind of cool, actually. Um, so, yeah. Get these this set for the boxes, recycle the figures, and get the figures from any other brand. <laughs> so, subscribe, suggest, and comment. I'll see you guys soon. Same bad time, same bad channel. Maybe.